Welcome back here, Clicks fans. Today I have another theme team team for you. This one is a 600 point theme team Marauders because of Mr. Sinister. He gives everyone Marauders if you either have Brotherhood TA or the keyword or X Men TA or X Men the keyword. So if you have any one of those and you're on his team, you all have Marauders keyword. So this whole team is a Marauders keyworded team. We have Mr. Sinister, 100 points, Dark Phoenix, Toro, Cypher, Scarlet Witch at 50 points, Marvel Girl, and Mystique. This team actually was something that I was thinking about building because of, you know, Halloween. It's a 600 point team. The one thing I wanna cover here is we were allowed to play the gauntlet for free. So this team would be 600 points without the gauntlet, um, but we were allowed to play the gauntlet for free. But if you wanted to play the full gauntlet, which is on Mr. Sinister, all you need to do is just take off her. She adds a lot of bonuses to it, but for the most part, you can uh, play this team without her on the real points and it still will work pretty good. The part which you want to do with this is put the full gauntlet on Mr. Sinister which gives him basically power cosmic so he can push and then he has all the stats that you know the gems give him which he can starts off with the space gem so he can carry right off the bat and get into position. Uh, it helps him quite a bit because he's a stealthy character with psychic blast, perplex, and he has uh, impervious 18. Uh, he's a very good figure, but he needs to be on a team with a lot of points and some support figures to really get the most out of him. But he plays very, very well. Dark Phoenix at 100 points is insane. Let's just run through what she has at 100 points. Power Cosmic, Run and Shot, Pulse Wave, TK, Invulnerability, and Outwit. 10 range, 3 targets. And if you hit her for 2, she gets on her hypersonic click with 11 attack, impervious, and 4 damage. And then you hit her again for another 2 damage, I mean another 2 clicks, I believe. Then she's on her stop click with like 18, and then uh, she's just a nasty figure. Not a, a long dial for 100 points, but in a very effective 100 points. And then when she's KO'd, all friendly characters with the same keyword as her, uh, she heals them two clicks. Because this is a theme team, because they all share Marauders, when she's KO'd, she can heal two clicks on every single one of these characters. So Dark Phoenix and Mr. Sinister work very well together on a high point game. Between the two of them, it's already at 325. So then you have to fill out the rest of your team with, you know, lower pointed figures and support figures. And, you know, you just kind of have to tinker with them. It's kind of a mini swarm team uh, for the fact of the, the sheer amount of characters. But you're not going to have a swarm team as in like tying people up, which you will do. These support figures are basically throwaway if you have to resort to that. But when you have the amount of perplex we have on this team and support powers, uh, you can really set someone up for a huge hit with a run shot pulse wave or a psychic blast and then it works out really really well. So let's talk a little bit about the mechanics of this team. Like I said we have the sinister with the psychic blast, perplex, stealth. He's just going to be a cannon. He doesn't have any move and attack so he's going to kind of be that. Then you have Dark Phoenix, Run and Shot, Pulse Wave, Outwit. So that's kind of where she's going to be going. Those are your two main attackers. So the next character we have is Mystique. I was carrying her with Mr. Sinister whenever he had the Space Gem. And then what you would do is just plop her down in Stealth. She also has Perplex, so she can Perplex up her own defense or Perplex up Mr. Sinister's or someone else's perplexing up attacks or damages to get that bonus. Then we have Marvel, who was, was carried by Dark Phoenix. Worked really well because then you carried Marvel Girl with Dark Phoenix early in the game, and then on turn two, or you know another turn soon after, you could have Marvel Girl TK Dark Phoenix out to run and shot Pulse Wave. 
Um, with all the other characters, you will be able to perplex quite a bit to either get that perplex up to higher damage or higher attack, which worked really well for me because we have Scarlet Witch here for 50 points, which is the barrier probability and perplex. So that's another perplex on this team. And we have the prob to help, you know, make sure that our attack sticks. Cypher worked really, really well here. Most of the teams that I went up against had either Superman or the Avengers Initiative, so I could, uh, so they could see through stealth. So I, I let him copy that to give everyone on the team basically that, whichever, either with a Superman TA or Avengers Initiative. So I was not affected by hindering terrain for my attacks with Dark Phoenix or Mr. Sinister. So that helped quite a bit, and if you know anything about this character, uh, you want to push him to a second click where he gets perplex, and then on his third click he also has perplex. So you can push him if you need to get into position. So that's another perplex on this team. And then we have Taro. And one thing about her, it's a, a very interesting dial, and the power selection on her is really, really good. But the problem is you have to roll two dice. Whatever the result is, is kind of like the power that you get. So if you kind of roll uh, six through eight, I believe, you get probability. And if you roll a little bit higher to nine through 10, you get the perplex leap climb. Six through eight is defend and probability. So those are the two numbers that I was going for. Uh, one of the games I got the perplex and then the other two games I got the probability and I just kept it that way. So that is another probability or another perplex on this team. So as you see here, the support powers are just out of control and when you can perplex up damage with the pulse wave or perplex up damage with psychic blast paired up with the gauntlet, I mean, uh, you're able to just do like six damage to one character at a time and uh, it goes pretty, pretty well. So this was this team right here. I thought it was a pretty fun team, played really well. Dark Phoenix at 100 points with some perplex and some prob is probably broken. It, it is a very good figure. The only thing bad is it's only 17 in vulnerability. But you know, when it's not your turn, if you're not gonna be able to attack, uh, maybe you wanna save some perplex to put her in hindering terrain and uh, perplex up that defense so that it's a little bit harder. Make sure you have a probability uh, lined up so if someone attacks her, and then they hit, you can prob out of that roll and hopefully they won't be able to hit her defense two times. So there's some ways to work around that 17 defense and uh, you just have to be smart. A lot of the matches I had to uh, sacrifice some of these other characters like this character or Mystique early on and Marvel Girl once I got my TK to uh, base characters and then let Mr. Sinister or Dark Phoenix uh, Pulse Wave or um, Psychic Blast on them. And it worked out really, really well. I went 3-0. and oh. The first two matches I went, uh, I, I cleared, got 600 points each. And then the last match, uh, it went against a, a team that had a lot of movement and attack and a lot of characters. So I was, it, it was a very difficult match there and I had to sacrifice quite a bit of figures to get what I got. But I only got 300 points on that team. That one was... Uh, uh, a lot of the figures from the Marvel 10th anniversary set, we had World Breaker at 250, the uh, first promotion of Thor, Rare, Storm, the thing with uh, the sewer cap, I don't know which one that one is, but that one was a pretty nice figure there. And then the 50 point Spider-Man, I think that was all the figures in that team, but that was a pretty solid team, was able to take out World Breaker and Spider-Man. That was my third and final match. So the second match I went up against a 450 point Adam Warlock full gauntlet and 150 point Superman. That was a really difficult match. I was able to clear those figures but it was not easy and I had to lose uh, a number of my support pieces to get that. But with the pulse wave and all the perplexes it, it was pretty difficult. It took almost everything I had in the, the rounds to get both of those figures off their dials. It, it was um, it's pretty interesting there. I mean, a couple choices, uh, we would have probably uh, seen a different outcome because Dark Phoenix would have probably been a, a higher target on that match, but 
it just wasn't the case. But I think now we know this Dark Phoenix is a must attack figure. You have to attack her. She's just deadly. And the first match was against the Superman team and I, uh, I missed a, a lot of my roles early on the match to take out a lot of support figures because I had to just start basing figures so I didn't get taken out by those really nasty figures like Superman, Wonder Woman, Supergirl, Oracle, and Batgirl. That team was solid, but I just missed a lot of my roles and we were in a map that had a bunch of walls so I didn't have a lot of good line of sight. Anyway, so this was my team. I thought it was pretty fun. I think it's pretty good too. It's definitely a little bit more of a finesse team, not an easy team to play. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a really cool Mr. Sinister team with a lot of nice support figures and I think it, uh, it's a pretty solid team. Tell me what you guys think. Pretty soon we're going to be having another giveaway because I'm getting really close to hitting 3K subscribers here on YouTube. So that's really exciting. I'm happy to be able to get there back to my old numbers on my old account. But I couldn't do it without you guys. It means a lot to me and I'm just happy to continue making Heroclix videos. So I will think a little bit about what I want to do for that. But just know that there will be a giveaway coming up. Pretty soon, contest maybe, something coming up soon. All right, guys, take it easy and have a good day. Tell me what you guys did on your tournament. Tell me what your teams that you built and uh, your results. All right, guys, take it easy.